scratcher on the house today. Yeah. On the house, free back scratcher. Nothing's free from Creek though. This is our blow tube, but it has a convenient little hand to hold the coal in place so it doesn't fall into your hand. Okay. So this is our blow tube in in a in a survival scenario. This could be a, a hollow piece of grass, a hollow piece of um, reed, um, all kinds of hollow stems, pithy stems can be can be driven out to have a hollow tube. But you'll find these hollow tubes um, it's necessary for coal burning to focus the heat of a coal to drive that heat to do the work for you to, to make a depression into a container or to make a spoon. It's the same process that natives use to do coal burn canoes. Okay? So you're gonna really appreciate that a coal burn canoe once you try to coal burn this. Okay? Um, you can coal burn without a drill. You could coal burn a hole through something if you needed like a imagine a teeter totter, like a pivot style in some type of a build or a shelter or contraption. If you needed to if you needed a hole through something, you can coal burn a hole through something. All kinds of different applications. We're gonna do a container today. Um, you can boil and purify water in a wooden or non-metal container using hot rocks from the fire. So you could transport water in this. How many of those saw the episode of Fat Guys when we made coal burn containers to transport water? Same exact process that we're using today. So um, we're gonna start by drilling with our knife or a sharp rock a, a, a nice little divot in the top. If yours doesn't have a divot or some type of little drill hole in the top, we're gonna to start by drilling a little divot right in the middle of our wooden container, okay? We need a little spot to place our first coal, okay? So, you borrow a knife if you don't have one, but be careful, don't stab yourself. I mean, obviously, you guys are gonna have a tougher time than I am. Uh, knife again. With the whiskey. Right. Man, with this knife, I could just about make my container faster than using the coals. All wood can be used, but the easiest is certainly softwood, but it's the least durable wood, you know? So long-term use, hardwoods are best, but you're certainly going to be able to do it faster with softwood. This is pine. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This time, it's beautiful. I mean, dude, it's like a perfect circle. That's so crazy. Nice, good job. Make our handles on knives. You can metal up and then burn up or wood. Similar process, but not quite. Not quite the same, but I've done that before for making handles. <laughs> How's it going over here? I'm reusing my coals. Because <laughs> I'm too lazy to get up and walk five feet to go get more. <laughs> now nah, it's all about efficiency. Now, guys, if your the flip side of the lazy. edge of your container, you're as you're as you're as big and deep as you're gonna go today without mud. Because what you would do is you would smear mud around those edges so that it only goes down. I will. Okay? But we don't have mud with us. So once it gets within a half inch or so of the edge of the container, you're about as gold as it's going to get. Okay. He's getting ready for Halloween over here and she's a jack-o-lantern. And it's a pastry. It's black and blue. It's like small eyes. Yeah. Like and here's the nose and here's the nose. Yeah. yeah. That's funny. All right, guys. So we're here with Creek Stewart doing coal burning class. We're about out of coals, guys. Here. We're about ready to start wrapping it up. Here's what I got. About out of coals. And get it all in here. Yeah, definitely. That looks good, though, man. You're great. You're a great wall hanger. Hey, man. Yeah.
So yeah, that's coal burning. That's how they used to make canoes, dugouts, in the old days. Mine is just going to be a cup. <laughs>